little game we found up in the attic. Oh, wow! Kaboom! <laughs> I used to love to play this game. You'd roll three and then you'd get to push the lever three times and the balloon would get bigger and bigger. But you sure don't want to be the one to make it go. Kaboom! Kaboom! <laughs> That's it? That's the whole game? Oh, no, not nearly. I mean, that's just one round. You put another balloon on, and you play it again. <laughs> so this was before they invented fun? Uh, we had a lot of cool games, like uh, pick up sticks. Ah, let me guess. Is that where you pick up sticks? <laughs> so in your day, if you had a title, you had a game. Hey, Red, do you know what? I've got a great idea for a new game. It's called... Don't tear the napkin. Great. I'll pull, then you pull. But you don't want to be the one who tears, tears the, the napkin. napkin. No! <laughs> and when we get tired of this, like we ever could, we can play clankety-clank. Clankety-clank? Yeah, we keep piling silverware on my hand until... Clankety-clank! don't come in erotic shapes or anything? Nope. Your mom must be leaving something out. Uh, morning, Amanda. Reg? Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Reg, I've been telling you for 17 years, I'm not your dad. Common law would have us believe otherwise. Any calls? Mm. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Oh, thanks, honey. Mm-hmm. I see my brother Jim called. How is my favorite uncle? <laughs> Thin ice, Reg. Mom, Kim has to cancel tonight's session, has to write speech for th therapist luncheon. Amanda, what's this about? Let me see. <sighs> mom. You know who Mom is. <laughs> There's somebody named Kim, and she is canceling a session which could be like a meeting or possibly some sort of... The word I'm interested in is therapist. Is your mom seeing a therapist? Again, let's go to the source. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would guess that mom was seeing a therapist. And did you know about this? No. What's the big deal? It's only therapy. You go, don't you? No. <laughs> well, if you ever want to, here is a number. <laughs> Dr. Myers, we need your help. I see. How big was she before you washed her? <laughs> this is her full height. Ah, a smoker. <laughs> he really will help you. He just has to get this out of his system first. Okay, um, uh, she's favoring her right side. I think she's having muscle spasms. Well, come on back. We'll see if we can rub that out. Amy, if anyone calls, tell them I can't talk right now. I'm feeling a little hoarse. <laughs> Why the waiting room's empty. Hi. Maggie, we have to talk. Sure, what is it? Uh, what would you think of uh, me and Dr. Myers going out? Well? Uh, you and Richard? Yeah. Um, when did this happen? Did this happen? Well, no, not yet, but you know. <laughs> He's separated from his wife, and I think he's really cute, so why not? Well, has he told you that he's interested? He hasn't told me that he's not. Well, would he tell you if he wasn't? He wouldn't not have told me if he weren't. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, you know, being totally objective, which is easy because I am. <laughs> Don't. I mean, inner office romances, they never work. I mean, it just makes everybody in the workplace uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, but you're the only other person who works here, and you wouldn't be uncomfortable, would you? Me? Oh, no. <laughs> Extremely comfortable and happy for you. Mm. <laughs> it is possible, though, that he doesn't feel the same way. I know it's a long shot, but what's the alternative? You know, I can't just sit around here all day fantasizing about it. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. I mean, who lives like that? <laughs> A creative person? An idiot! <laughs> so, Mom has a secret. Is she legally obligated to tell you everything she does in her life? She should at least tell me the highlights. I mean, if something's bothering her, why couldn't she come to us? Yeah! Not <laughs> you, Reg. Amanda and me. You know, Dad, this whole therapy thing, you know, maybe it's about you. Thank you, my precious child. Or maybe it's about me. Now you're talking. On the other hand, if it was about me, she probably would have mentioned it to you. All I know is secrets can lead to big problems. I know. That's why Amanda and I don't have any secrets. We tell each other everything. No, Reg. You tell me everything. Oh, right. <laughs> Together? No, in two separate restaurants. Isn't that great? <laughs> of course, together. Now I have to tell him how I feel. Okay, this is where I need your help. Oh, but you're doing so well on your own. Oh, come on. <laughs> Imagine you have all these feelings, and now's your chance to let him know. What would you say? Uh, Amy, I really can't. Oh, come on. I'm really bad at this, please. Uh, okay. Um, off the top of my head, I guess I would say something like, uh, Richard, for the last few weeks, I can't seem to stop thinking about you. And when I'm down, I think about how you make me laugh and you know how dedicated you are to your work. And but, but mostly how you make me feel about myself. I mean, it seems like you really care about me and my feelings. And and if somebody like you really believes in me, then I, you know, I feel like I can do anything. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the hokiest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh. Well, it was just off the top of my head. You didn't even mention his ass. I had a cancellation. Mr. Chesler. I think he's seeing another cardiologist behind my back. Why did he cry out some other doctor's name during an arterioloscopy? <laughs> right. That's funny. Uh, you're funny. Uh, which is good. Uh, laughter is very therapeutic, don't you think? Oh, yes. Hey, you know, I have to run to the office for a little while, but I thought we could rent a movie. You know, if you don't have any appointments or anything. Oh, Art, I can. I've got a lot of stuff to do. Stuff? Oh, that sounds interesting. Is it stuff I should know about? No, just the usual. Do you want to rent a movie tomorrow night? I'll be there with bells on. Okay. Ooh, how about Secrets and Lies? <laughs> Blood pressure and cholesterol are still pretty high, Mr. Dawson. Uh, you've been following the diet? You bet I have, Doc. The diet you gave me is the greatest. <laughs> Oatmeal, fish, broccoli, the works. 
I'm not saying I've been perfect. I mean, it is possible I had the odd bite of lean steak or low-fat ice cream. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a monk. <laughs> there was this jar of macadamia that someone just left laying around. So I had a couple, and I had a couple more. <laughs> I thought I was in Hawaii. <laughs> Yeah, I would guess the mom was seeing a therapist. Seeing a therapist. Seeing a therapist. Let it out. Let it all out. And you don't go to New Orleans without stopping by Chez Bobby's. <laughs> Fried pork sausages thick as your ankles. Baby back spare ribs dripping with honey sauce. Viola shrimp wrapped with bacon. It's a little spicy. You like shrimp? So you faked everyone? <laughs> well, if in 18 years he never brought you to orgasm, how did you know what to do? Oh, it doesn't matter. I could do bird calls and he'd pat himself on the back. giant brownie floating in chocolate syrup <laughs> topped with ice cream and then topped again with whipped cream i don't know how they managed to deep fry all that but they did well our time is just about up but before you go i want to remind you of our client therapist oath art must never know 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 Heart must never go. Heart must never go. In as much as it is possible for a man to fall away diet, I think I've done a pretty good job, right, Dr. Day? <laughs> Dr. Day? Hmm? Oh. Yeah, uh, uh, keep up the good work, Mr. Dawson. <laughs> okay, Doc, I'm out of here. Thank you. Oh, in a way, my dad always blamed me for my mom's death. <laughs> I mean, this is a sad story. In fact, it's the saddest story of my life. I know, but you tell it so funny. <laughs> it's a gift, I guess. You know, Richard, um, ever since you started working at the clinic, I've really had a great time. Thanks, Amy. Me too. Really? Amy. All right, I knew it. It was a hand, right? You only like me as a friend. I get the message. It's just like, no, you don't think of me that way. Uh, there's some perfect guy for me right around the corner. Your Will life you is stop? too crazy right now. Why? Isn't that what you were going to say? No. Yes. I'm sorry. Don't be. Hmm? I've heard the friend speech a million times. I know it like cops know the Miranda rights. Come on. I'm sure you must have given it as many times as you've heard it. No. Not once? Uh I said it to my mom a couple times, so we always get back together. All right. I'll tell you what, why don't you give me the speech? <laughs> what? Oh, well, evening's gonna end the same way. Doesn't matter who gives it to who. I'd be stupid. Come on. It'll make you feel better. Really? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Here goes. Uh, Richard. You know, I really think you're a wonderful person. Thanks, Amy. I feel the same way about you. You have so much to offer. Thanks. But... Uh -oh. <laughs> you know, Richard, I, I'm sorry, but I only think of you as a friend. And when I say the word friends, I mean the very special kind of friends that never see or speak to each other ever again. And that's it? Mm -hmm. We're finished? I loved you! <laughs> I'm breaking up with him. <laughs> Giving him the old friend speech. No! <laughs> He's taking it better than most. <laughs> Fine. Going off to do your errands? 
Are you up? Mm-hmm. Dinner's in the oven. Try to get Amanda to eat something besides cereal. You mean while you do your errands? <laughs> yes, Art, while I do my errands. What is wrong with you today? Maybe I'm tired of being lied to. What are you talking about? Kim Reed. <laughs> of yours? Maggie! She's my therapist. Why didn't you tell me? I was looking for the right time. Come on, Maggie. I'm your husband. I'm entitled to know these things. And I'm an adult, and I'm entitled to keep some things private. You can at least tell me how you're spending my money. Your money? Yeah, which makes it my therapy, too. <laughs> Information. I'm paying this out of my own bank account. You have your own bank account? <laughs> what, are you leading some kind of double life? You probably have another family across town. I bet you don't talk to them either. Oh, what? Oh, what do you talk to Kim Reed about? Uh... Things. Maggie, if you needed to talk to someone, why couldn't you have just come to me? Art, you're not a very good listener. I'm an excellent listener. Art, you start off listening, but then you begin saying what you would do in my shoes, and before I know what you're talking about yourself, and I'm listening. That's not true. I listen. No, like, like when I had to operate on that little Korean boy. And I sat down if with If you him. love me, kill me, because I can't hear that story again. <laughs> that little boy's got to be about 60 by now. <laughs> all right, all right. We're both here now, and I'm listening. So, what's on your mind? Come on, spill it. I can't talk to you when you're like this. You know, apparently, you can't talk to me at all! Mark, I've been sitting here waiting for you. You were supposed to pick me up. I left you a note. Of course, I meant tonight. Tonight was implied. Oh, don't you give me that assumed speech. The only one who's an ass is you. <laughs> Kim, don't, don't we have an appointment? Maggie, didn't you get my message? I called and canceled. I did say tonight, didn't I? You left your name on the message, didn't you? Yes, it seemed like the way to do it. <laughs> Would it be weird if I sat down a few minutes? Uh, Maggie, we should probably just reschedule. Besides, I wouldn't be very good company. I just had a fight with my husband. You're married? I do continue to exist after you leave my office. <laughs> I had a pretty bad evening myself. Oh, sit down. What happened? Well, I never told Art about coming to therapy, and he found out today and hit the roof. Mm-hmm. So now, Maggie, do you want me to respond to that as a therapist or as a woman? What's the difference? 70 bucks. <laughs> uh, I want to talk to the woman, please. OK, but she speaks her mind more freely than the therapist. All right, shoot. Maggie, grow up. You're always whining that there's no communication in your marriage, but you're the one keeping secrets. What's the deal with you anyway? Um, you know, I think I've got $70 somewhere. Too late. I got a full head of steam. The doctor is out. Is this what you really think of me? I mean, I thought you liked me. I do, but you screwed up, and somebody's got to call you on it. Now, you want your husband to know you better? Well, now he knows you keep secrets. It's just a matter of time before he wonders what else you're hiding. Face it, Maggie, things aren't gonna be the same between you and Art. I get it, my life is over. Thank you. Not necessarily. Things won't be the same, but that doesn't mean they'll be worse. In fact, they might even be better. Really? 
This could be the first little crack in that wall between you two. Now, it's not gonna be easy knocking that wall down, but it's a start. Maybe you're right. You know, maybe I have been blaming Art this whole time when it's really my fault for not telling him what I need. Yes. Well, excuse me, I have a wall to knock down. What's that? You earned it. <laughs> Art? 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 to remind you of our client therapist oath. Art must never know. Art, Art must never know. 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 Art must never know.